Greetings, ladies and gentlemen of the galaxy. I am Zach, and I am back again for another tier list video. This time, we're revisiting the Clone Wars, and we're going to be ranking the seasons of the Clone Wars and sorting them into this tier list from S tier to D tier, because I don't think any season of the Clone Wars belongs in an F tier. So we're going to just keep it at D and see what happens. So without further ado, let's get started. So we'll start off in chronological order with season one. And I do think season one is the weakest of the bunch. I'm going to throw it into C tier. It's really, in terms of storytelling, the weakest. I think it just showcases a lot of the battles and kind of lays the groundwork for the Clone Wars as a show. Um, the humor is kind of more immature and it's definitely not by any means a dark show at this point and it doesn't have challenging themes really and i feel like the character of ahsoka wasn't nearly as good as she eventually becomes in the later seasons and the show it was just trying to find its groove and it's still fun to watch but it's definitely not anywhere near the quality of the later seasons season two i'm probably also going to put in in C tier a little of a little ahead of season one and I think it suffers from a lot of the same issues that season one does but we do start to see some growth from the show I think landing at point Reyes is like an incredible episode I really want to analyze that episode because it does a lot of unique things specifically with the way they use the, the camera I mean they don't really use a camera to make the show but you know what I mean our perspective is different than anything we've seen before in the show and um, I think that episode is like one of the first great Clone Wars episodes. And the show just inches closer to being uh, a little more complex and a little more dark. Season three is where I really have always said that this show picks up and starts to become really good and, find, and finds its groove. I'm gonna put season three in B tier. Um, this is the season that begins to actually uh, beneficially develop Ahsoka. I, I think that this is the season where she begins to kind of become a likable character. And uh, the same goes for the clones. I think this season puts a lot of work into building the clones up. We have uh, the the Cadets episode, we have 99, um, all those great clones, fantastic clones. It starts to develop Rex more and and Fives and, and whatnot. And it's it's this season that I think is the turning point of the show. I've always had a soft spot for season three, but I'm going to put it in B tier because um, it's the first step on a journey to this show becoming amazing. Season four belongs in A tier. Uh, they bring back Darth Maul. You have arcs like the Umbara arc, uh, which was amazing. Probably one of the greatest arcs concerning the clones. And I just love season four because it, it, re it represents such a tonal shift in the show. As the show aged, so did the kids who were watching it. So the kids are now older, and so the show is able to delve into darker topics and show more brutal things. Not only is the Umbara arc incredible, but I also enjoyed the arc where Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Ahsoka, and Rex become slaves. I think that was very interesting to put Anakin in that position, you know, being a slave again, and I love what that did for his character. I also enjoy the arc where um, Obi-Wan fakes his death and has to pretend to be a bounty hunter i also think that did a lot of good things for anakin's character development and those arcs are like back to back so it was like a strong eight episodes for anakin and then uh the season caps off with darth maul and savage press i was initially skeptical about them bringing darth maul back but i'm willing to admit that i was very wrong about that and i'm glad they did season five also belongs in a tier for me this season really, I believe, cemented Ahsoka as one of the best Star Wars characters. Even if we had never seen her again after this, I still think she would be a top 15 Star Wars character in pretty much everyone's mind. Particularly the episode where she makes the decision to leave the Jedi Order. I think that was some of the best Star Wars the Clone Wars has to offer. And uh, it truly just endeared Ahsoka to me because she made the right call. And um, it effectively got her out of the way for Revenge of the Sith too, so no complaints there. Um, I also really love the conclusion of Maul's, uh, well not really the conclusion, but for a while it was the conclusion of Maul's um, rule of Mandalore. Uh, the Palpatine versus Maul and, and Savage Opress duel was incredible. Satine's death was tragic. 
Um, season five just had so many emotional highs and I think it's definitely belonging in A tier. Season six was a bit of a strange season. It had some incredible moments like the, the fives arc where he uncovers the inhibitor chips and the Yoda, Yoda's journey to Dagobah and, and whatnot to learn how to become a force ghost. But it also had episodes that were just okay. Like uh, some other, I think there was another Corvus arc with, with Anakin and Padme. And then there was a Jar Jar and Mace Windu arc. And it was shorter. It was shorter than any of the seasons before it. So I'm going to put it in upper B tier. By no means do I dislike season six. I just would rather watch seasons four and five before I watch season six. Now for the final season. And this one, I'm going to kind of go against everything I said with season six. Yes, most of the season was mediocre to just plain awful. But the final four seasons, The Siege of Mandalore, was downright some of the best Star Wars I've seen since Revenge of the Sith. It made me feel some type of way. <laughs> and I can't do anything but put this in S tier. I don't care if the Martez sisters arc drags it down. I don't care. The last four episodes of this show were perfection. If, if there's no such thing as perfection, it was the next closest thing. It was chef's kiss. Mwah. Thank you, Dave Filoni, and thank you, everyone who worked on this, this show. The visuals were incredible. The animation was sleek. The storytelling was just m immaculate. Um, what else can I say? This, this, this season, this, specifically the last four episodes, like I said, some of the best Star Wars I've ever seen. So that was my list. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel for all things Star Wars. I am Zach, and I will see you in the future.